Welcome replayers and welcome anybody else that's there. Back in sunny Orlando and uh, kind of a neat contrast between that building and the clouds I think. But oh my goodness, I had to get a, stop and pay for the tomatoes and to get a drink. So welcome back Les, thanks. I want to show you, we've got some of these crazy, crazy art installations here. This one is just too bizarre. I'm not sure what you can see, but if you look up, there's these gigantic legs and then this tiny, tiny body. But um, so yeah, I'm at the farmer's market in downtown Orlando. Welcome everybody. And uh, this is at Lake Eola Park. Most of the, looks like the farmers have packed up. They're usually here early and I didn't get here till just a little while ago. But there's some pottery and uh, different things. Gosh, the sun is so bright, can't see anything. It's behind me, so it's really hard to see the screen. I wonder if I can brighten it up at all. Hey, doesn't seem so. All right, well, we went on the other side a few minutes ago, so we're going to go this way. we got a different singer now. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Need some doggy treats? <laughs> Beef jerky? Taco rice ball, ban mi. You know uh, Derek and his ban mi. <laughs> oh my gosh! I didn't know they served alcohol in the park. How about that? World of Beer. The bar is just across the way here, but they've got a, a stand going on in the park. That's really shocking to me. I guess that's inside that corral they probably haven't licensed because they're very particular about serving alcohol in public. So they're inside this corral. Unless I get iced coffee. Oh, we have these, um, just in the last few months, we got these bike stands where you rent a bike and go where you need to go downtown and then park it in another station. I've not looked at one really close. I kind of want to see. Oh, yeah, the humidity is killer. Oh, so here's all the bikes. Oh, so now I see the deal. So they've got these little <laughs> cash machines on the back. And you get this solar. You guys probably have them in your towns, but this is the first time I've seen one up close. So I guess you, I don't know where you put the card in or something. I'm sure there's instructions somewhere. But, um, oh, there's a mobile app. Select a plan, unlock and ride. Oh, how about that? Cool. Yeah. It, there's the solar. I didn't realize they had that either. I figured it, I knew they had some kind of a cash machine on them, but I figured it was probably battery. There's a beautiful German Shepherd. Um, lots of condos and apartments on this side of the lake. If you're looking at a map ever, this is the south side of Lake Eola that we're on now. And you can see this this particular building is called the Paramount and it's nice because there's a grocery store in the main floor with a free parking garage so that makes it really convenient because it's Publix which is one of the more popular oh I can't see who that is hi oh hey Dan yes it's every weekend Lou uh, every Sunday and um, 
Oh. Oh. That's great. Oops. Thanks. Kettle corn. ATM, anybody? <laughs> So, if you just got here, I'm in Lake Eola Park in downtown Orlando. It's the farmer's market every Sunday. I think it starts at 7 in the morning. And it's now 12.55 here, Eastern Time. It is a little bit like Coconut Grove. Um, I think, well... You know, you don't you don't really know what you've got in your own town. Sometimes, it, it's it is very nice. I, I think Coconut Grove is is really nice too. Maybe a little bit bigger. Gosh, Dan, I haven't been to Coconut Grove in yikes, probably more than twenty years. I was there when they had some of the AIDS quilt on display many years ago. Anyway, headed back toward the lake, and we're going to go up and around the other side. Whoops, can't see. Oh, sorry, the sun, I couldn't see it. That's the thing. I don't know if the Androids are any better, but on the iPhone, and thank God, I, did, I almost wore my polarizing sunglasses which would mean I could not see at all. All right, I was last there before something. Ducks! Oh, there's really big, big, huge swan out here with humans on it. It was exciting that um, just in the last few weeks, the city got some handicap accessible swan boats so you can take a, a wheelchair on, which is kind of scary if you had an accident, but um, pretty cool that they did that. So you kind of give you an idea. I'm going to go ahead and do a landscape. give you an idea the park the lake is not real big the promenade around the lake is 0.9 miles and there's some of the that's the north end of the downtown core we don't have a lot of high rises I think our tallest is 30 stories but that's a residential one, the tall one to the right, and the curvy one straight in front of me, I think is only offices, I'm not sure. To the left, the kind of a Asian looking top, our condos. The other two more modern looking ones, between the green glass building and the Asian one, are also condos. Um, the PNC, if you can tell, that's that green glass one, uh, office buildings. So we're going to walk a little bit this way and flip it back up. I don't know if any of you um, have a, seen the jellyfish tripod. <clears throat> Alex Pettit was talking about it. And so I took his advice and got one and it's kind of nice to hold on to because you can collapse the legs. You can get <laughs> purple Dan. You can collapse the legs and and hold on to it more easily without having to extend. I have big hands and my hands get tired of being so wide of a grip to hold the uh, iPhone 6 even. Anybody that has a 6 Plus or one of those large Android phones 
You might want to consider one of these because it's easier to hold on to. This is World of Beer um, inside here and the bottom of an older apartment building that was probably built in the 50s but it's been modernized. It used to be a really fancy restaurant called Lee's Lakeside, La Lee's Lakeside and it was really cool to go to parties and dinner events there right here on the lake at night. So there's the famous Lake Eola Fountain and it is quite iconic. It's been here since the 50s, I think since about 1955 maybe. And I'm going to flip a little bit here for you. Oh gosh, I just realized, who knows how long it's been. The building across the way, the, the shorter blue glass buildings, it says Iberia Bank on it. It used to be an IBM building forever and ever since it was built. God only knows how long it's been the Iberia Bank. I have no clue. Oh, and straight up this way, you can barely see, the gold-domed building is a Greek Orthodox church. Now, I don't think they do it anymore, at least I haven't heard it. It used to be on Epiphany Sunday in January. They used to have a gold cross. They would go out on a boat and throw it into the lake, and the boys, young teenage boys, would have to dive in and get it. And I haven't heard of that in a really long time. Hey, I saw uh, Perfia. Periphera, I forget your name. This is hard. I'm pretty good with names once I learn them, but I can't associate the handle um, very often. At least not yet. As I work on that list for the EOAJ site, I'll start to learn more. Oh, sorry. S sorry, sorry. <laughs> So, we're at Lake Yola Park, downtown Orlando. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just rolling along here. So here we are with the Cypress, and if you're not familiar with Cypress, these, a little bit hard to see, are called Cypress Knees. And those are the beginnings of new trees. So, well, thanks for hanging around, those of you that are here. I, um, I didn't know if this kind of stuff would be of interest to people. I was watching some guys. Yeah, it is, Sari. Um, sorry. Which is it, Sari or sorry? Sari is one, sorry is two. Pick one or two. Sari is one. Sari is two. <laughs> it's the teacher in me. Oh, God, from the standardized tests. All of us retired teachers and current teachers that read all the information and say, you know, it sounds like Finland has got their act together. We are testing our children to death over here. Hey, PJ again. There's the cowbirds taking a hike. This, um, I should go over here and see what's going on. This is called Bird Island. And if we had a, a gunshot or a firecracker sound, <laughs> this thing would erupt in birds. I don't know if they're a heron. We call them cowbirds. Um, and then these little black ones with the red heads. Now I don't think they're egrets. They might be. If you're a birder, you would know better than me, but I don't think they're egrets. Oops. And what's funny is um, they will be walking down my street every now and then. And we have wild turkeys every now and then, which, oh God, I do not want. 
I saw uh, a mother and some babies about six months ago, and I prayed that they were just passing through because they are a pain in the neck. And a lot of people think peacocks are so great. They are really, really nasty as well. And thank God there's none around here. They're very noisy and destructive, and they poop everywhere. So now we are on the west end of the lake, looking east. And there's the fountain. It goes pretty high, the jet. I was saying earlier, it's really nice at night because they have, it was redone to the tune of about a million dollars a couple years ago. And <clears throat> new lights and new pumps and synchronized uh, pumps and all this kind of stuff are in there, the, you know, the whole new technology. And so they can change the colors and they change it to um, different special events going on. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, there goes the jet, just went down, the biggest one. It's hard for me to see, hope you can see it. But. Um, The main core of Orlando is called Orange Avenue, and it, oops, sorry, got to zoom out. It is about three short blocks further to the west, and that's where most of the banks are and, and that kind of stuff. I'm going to go down this way. It's pretty quiet on this end today because of the farmer's market. Everything's busy on the other end. Normally, this is the busy end with the band shell and um, now I think this is an egret. See this big one here? I think that is an egret. I'm pretty sure. Do you know if that gray one is an egret, the big one? Yeah, these are, I call these cowbirds. Do you know, they're, oh, you know, I bet that is it. This gentleman says, asked me if they're ibis, and I think that that is, you're right. The rednecks call them cowbirds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. I think we all call these pigeon. Dirty bird. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that I think is our egret. Hey, Paula. I'm still here. Yeah. And there's the, some of the bad names people call us, too. <laughs> Let's walk around this way and see what's going on. There's some plaques over here. I can't remember what they say. The Linton Allen Fountain. Oh, too close. It was rededicated in 2011. Gosh, it's been four years already. And Lake Eola Park, E-O-L-A, in case you wondered what the heck is he saying. Cowbird is actually more like a blackbird. Cattle egret is white and hangs around cows. Yeah. <laughs> sea Art Orlando. I guess this is when they put in the new installations and there's a plaque commemorating that event uh, in 2013. So this is the band shell. And um, lots of different events go on here. It's been here, oh gosh, I'll have to see if I find a sign. Been here a long time. I've been in Orlando since 1974, so 41 years. And it's been here a long time. And I have um, performed on stage. I used to sing with the Orlando Gay Chorus, and we've done many different things here. And. Um, all the, a lot of the walkathons and those different kinds of fundraisers usually launch from here and they have 
you know, music and recognitions, all that kind of stuff going on here. Beautiful day. You can see we have like um, different kinds of trees. Most of ours are not deciduous. Um, this is looks like some kind of a maple. And you're right, <laughs> Betsy. And then we got our palms and weeping willows. and pines and then you can see <laughs> our mermaid that thing's only been here a few years it's kind of crazy it's supposed to be look like it's sand all right guys thanks for watching here's a view across the lake at the the newer condos and um, I'm gonna dash too Dan everybody thanks a lot it's been fun thanks for hanging in um, we'll do it again maybe a little bit more action next time we'll see take care bye